Welcome back to Fontana Marina, where our brand new floating cabin build is going down. We left y'all last week with the build looking something like this, maybe with some slight feelings of overwhelm. Don't panic. This is a lot bigger than it looks. But generally with an overall sense of excitement about the progress and anticipation for the next steps. While our builder Jericho and his crew went home for the weekend, Brandon's mom and I spent a little bit of time taping out the walls and furniture as well as plotting some awesome DIY projects for the interior finish that will give us a significantly more expensive look but without breaking the bank. If you're balling on a budget like us, I have a feeling you are going to love seeing some of these money-saving hacks in the coming episodes. But more on that later. Good morning! Guys, I have been so busy. I'm so sorry. Work is a thing, and so I can't always be here to film the crew, but I am leaving them with my GoPro, so hopefully we're getting enough. Yesterday, which was, I guess, day five of 14, the rest of the deck boards went in and the egress, that annoying rule that we had to follow. <laughs> One rule and the only thing TVA cares about on the inside, even if you have your dock surrounding this thing, you have to have an egress of 24 square feet minimal. That got situated and cut in and uh, deck boarded as well. So, and then in addition to work, um, today we have like a German film crew coming in, kind of like the tiny house giant journey thing. I know a lot of you guys came here from that show. So we're doing something similar, but for German TV. <laughs> and so they're gonna be here in like 15 minutes and that's probably gonna be an all day thing. They do want to film some of the new builds, so I'm hopeful we can get over there and I can get some content while they're also filming. I'm really excited for what's happening today. I would like to be there for this all day, but we will do what we can and I think we'll definitely make it work either way. My understanding is that today the walls are getting framed out, so that is super exciting. It's actually gonna start looking like a house. All right, let's go see what progress they've made this morning. It looks like you got a lot of the deck boards on. Uh, we did. We got uh, the deck boards on the side, got figured out for plumbing. We're getting ready to pull up some Advantech so that we can get all the sewer lines put in. Sorry about all the tape. We had to do some envisioning. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, so we're gonna pull some shit up, do some plumbing, yep. put everything back, and awesome. then uh, we should have front and back wall frame by the end of the day. Good deal. Well, so. we should be back in the afternoon. Sweet. Can't all wait. So. Let's go check on them, see what they've been up to. Sort of a plan. Is that a wrap? Yes. Bam! Boom! Did good? Absolutely. Thank you, Thank you very much. Yeah. Okay. So, plumbing is in for kitchen sink, toilet. Once we go to do our stuff, we'll tie everything in. This is in a wall joist here. Kitchen sink's actually right there, but we're going to run it down, plumb it into there. And this is our tub. This is where our tub plumbs in. And this is Sarah's famous new bathroom sink where I've got a design. Cute little vessel sink. Yeah. It's gonna but look when you like build it's a floating cabin. You can't get under it to do your plumbing if you build enough floats under it. So you have to do it in the beginning, which makes it hard on the builder. But we've got Jericho, so Thank he God. can do anything. <laughs> I've been doing so much for so long with so little that I can do anything with nothing. Oh, quote him on that, y'all. <laughs> hey, we got a question about the materials that, what's it called? The L. LVLs. LVLs. Laminated veneer lumber. Can you speak to the strength of that? As to, you know, we didn't choose steel because of cost reasons, but yeah. why is this a good alternative? Uh, well, first off, it's cheaper than steel. Yes. Uh, second off, they're super straight. I mean, they're crazy. It's basically like a giant sheet of actual plywood. Uh, so they, they use veneer grade lumber, which is very strong because it doesn't have a lot of knots in it. They alternate the grains different directions uh, so that there again, it's, it's super strong because it's alternated. And uh, these LVLs specifically are pressure treated. Isn't that a recent thing? It is pretty recent. Yeah, like people would just build decks out of traditional two by lumber. Yeah. Um, there's another product that they use sometimes, blue lamb beams, and that's what people would use if they needed something that was pressure treated outside. But they're very expensive and very heavy, so we did yes. not want to use those for this. 
so the LVL is probably the best choice for our application if we best didn't choice. go with steel. Yeah, best choice. And, and the way this is built, it has support everywhere underneath it because the floats basically hold it up everywhere where there's a float under it. So you really could frame something like this out of two by four or two by six if you wanted to, um, but you're gonna have a lot more flex and for moving it and getting it into the water is just, it would be a nightmare. Something's gonna break. Um, so that was why we used LVLs, put blocking in the corners and used ledger locks to, glue, uh, to screw everything together. So awesome. pretty strong, pretty damn strong. Again, you're overkilling it. We, we like it. To. We try to, we try to. There, right here. Yeah. Or a jail. Or a jail, <laughs> more <laughs> like a jail. <laughs> I know it won't look like a jail in real life. The roof is gonna be like this. So this weight is all transferred down because that header is carrying the weight and then it's transferred across and back down this header. Same thing here. You got a header on this side. All that weight from the, your roof because that roof it's only on a 212 pitch. When it gets snow on it, it's carrying quite a bit of weight. Sure. Um, and all of that stuff has to go somewhere. So if I just framed and put holes for the windows and studs directly up, I mean, it might hold for a little bit. We don't it, like it, mites. So. We don't like mites I don't around like here. Mite either. As small as this thing is, I could probably get away with two by eights, but you know. Now hold on. But we're gonna have a strong prison. I'm You're gonna have a super strong prison. <laughs> <laughs> on the roof. This was supposed to be a heated roof, Jericho. Oh, right? that's right. Oh, is that, is that, I think that's are we it. paying for that? No, he threw that in. Oh, yeah. he threw that yeah. <laughs> A wedding present, that's so sweet. <laughs> Baby, we, we might need to get married for, to have a wedding present. <laughs> All right, hurry up, let's go. Let's go to the courthouse. <laughs> Way cuter, way cuter than a prison. <laughs> that is, yes. Oh, it's awesome. This is because we're trying to save weight. Uh, we didn't want to put sheathing on the whole front of the house. Yeah. So we didn't want to have to put plywood on everything, and it wouldn't have helped much anyway because the structure is so choppy. There's so many openings. So we had to do these lead embraces two by fours that basically act as diagonals and hold everything and give her everything sheer strength. So it looks it, nice too. I mean, it, I know you won't see it does these, look but cool, yeah, but that's a really old school technique of framing. Like most old houses, that was what they did was lead embraces because they didn't have plywood products back in the day. Yeah. But if we didn't have those, when I pushed that, this whole thing would rack like that. You see the windows in it? Window, window, window in that little square. Mm -hmm. window, window. Awesome. I love putting walls up. Makes you realize how much room, like it feels so much more roomy. Oh yeah, and I'm just so psyched about the height of this. Like, yeah. don't reckon anybody can get perspective on this. <laughs> <laughs> it's like so tall. I just made some eggplant parm and pasta to bring to the guys for a little moral support. This is how I know those walls My are going up Williams tomorrow. My buddy Williams at Pioneer Feed and Seed. Did we see him in there that night we were in there? No. We hit the ground running today and I'm gonna say it was the eggplant parm. The only thing more satisfying than seeing that first wall go up was seeing the second one go up. And the only thing more satisfying than that was seeing the third one go up. It was so cool to finally see our house Ready? taking shape. Moment of truth. Sometimes you need to know if your tape measure doesn't lie. Sometimes you need to know if it does lie. Well, it's going up. Wow. That's that. Oh my goodness. It's a house. Okay, so it looks like we've got three walls up and this is going to be the fourth, right? That's right. Last wall. Hello. Well, last exterior wall. Yes. Well, the most important thing is here in this 
area like the living room and the kitchen where we actually yeah. spend 90% of the time if we're even inside at all. You're gonna have an echo. Yeah, that is such a tall wall. I'm, I'm so excited about that. And I know it's already more square footage, but it's gonna feel like that much more having so much overhead space too. 225 inside. 225? Yeah. And this is 360? Yeah. Does that include the loft? No. Do, okay, so that's it's literally just the footprint of it. Yeah. It's awesome. It's so much space. Yeah. What do you think? I think it's looking good. You happy with it? Yeah. What are you eating? Magic brownies? Liver mush. Liver mush. What are you doing? I am putting a cap into this. Is that the poop tank? Yeah. 300 gallon poop tank. <laughs> you proud of yourself? I got it. I got it. Hey, I got it. Y'all keep going. <laughs> Thank God Brandon showed oh, up, huh? I'm not going to be able to sleep tonight. Who's going to put my tools up? <laughs> <laughs> so, baby, did you get this picture when I wake up in the morning? This is my window out my bedroom. It's perfect height. Oh my God, go away. <laughs> He's absolutely not joking. That is the bedroom window. And it's gonna have, you know, one of those crank openings so it'll just open wide. This is what we're going to use to hang our keys on the... Oh, it's so cute. Such keys. character. I designed this and Jerrica made it. Rustic. Batten. Yeah, we got a on that. $29.99, we'll ship it to you. But, but wait, if you but order wait. now. We'll throw in a blank one and you can pick where you want your keys to go. <laughs> Screws not included. Once again, he is wearing an invincible harness and a sky hook. you guys i think that's a good stopping point for this week next week the roof is gonna go up the interior walls are gonna get framed just so much exciting stuff happening in the coming weeks <sighs> feeling super blessed and also super blessed just to have you guys along for the journey thank you so much for watching thank you to all of our super thinkers and donators last week that means the world to us and i'm really pleased to see everybody just really enjoying this journey with us so far so much more to come. Stay tuned. Sorry, I farted.